Hello, and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today we have uh, kind of an unusual beer, uh, and it's uh, uh, a beer I have had before, uh, but uh, it's been about seven or eight years, I guess, since I've seen it, and it just reappeared again in our uh, local Yamaya store, which is a large chain of uh, liquor stores throughout Japan. And this is made by Kronenbrauerei Wall in Germany, and it's called Cannabia. And it's considered a flavored other beer, 4.9% uh, alcohol. And I assume it is a lager which has been infused with hemp. And uh, this is, I've seen other beers like this. In fact, uh, Mino, Mino beer in Japan uh, in the past made not one but two separate uh, hemp beers. Uh, hemp, of course, has been widely used uh, throughout Asia over, you know, over, you know, uh, thousands of years for, for uh, making rope and paper and things like that. Uh, it's uh, apparently quite a useful crop. And the hemp in this, I am uh, assuring you, does not have uh, any of the uh, psychoactive ingredients uh, in marijuana. So, but it is uh, cannabis, uh, a variety of cannabis. And uh, so the cannabis, I, 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 I we'll see if it has adds any flavor to the beer. Uh, we can assume it may be a kind of hoppy-like flavor uh, because cannabis and hops uh, are somewhat similar. Um, in rate beer, this one has 206 ratings, uh, 2.17 out of 5, not very high, and 4 percentile for all beers on rent, uh, rate beer. That's 4% out of 100, and 6 percentile for its style, which is considered a flavored or uh, flavored other beer. Uh, flavored other means a beer that they don't know how to classify and it has some added ingredient to flavor it. Untapped, uh, 3,020, uh, 33 ratings, an average of 2.33, so just a touch higher. Uh, this costs 320 yen at Yamaya, and that would translate to about uh, maybe just under three dollars or so. Uh, the hemp content is one percent, and that's even it's listed before the hops uh, uh, throughout the many languages in which they list the ingredients. Not in Japanese. In Japanese, hops come first, and then hemp. Um, and I have had this before, but it was in 2013, so quite a while ago. Uh, so I think we should give this a go and see how it is. <clears throat> it is very, very pale, very pale kind of straw, light straw color, almost edging on champagne kind of color. Uh, carbonation, very minimal. You can see it kind of rising up there. It's completely crystal clear. Almost no head whatsoever. Okay, well, we get something like something like uh, Zatz hop in this, uh, but something behind it too, which seems kind of artificial, uh, kind of extract-like in in the malt. Very thin, very light maltiness. Uh, it has a kind of Euro lager character, uh, which is you know designed to just appear like a beer and make you sit on your seat and put it down, but not really something you're going to enjoy. Quite grassy, very light, bitter sort of initial. Some cereal, some cardboard, unfortunately. And final kind of fizzles away. Uh, there's a light metallic note to it as well. So this again, we, we'd have to consider this a novelty beer. Uh, they're putting uh, non-psychoactive hemp into this to uh, uh, to say they did it, <laughs> essentially. And uh, uh, if anything, it has kind of uh, it's like a very crude, mild check pills, and that's it.
So I, I can't recommend this. Uh, you may want to give it a try if you happen to see it anywhere. Uh, don't expect to feel any extra effects other than 5% of alcohol, or 4.9% actually. So, okay, once again, it's called uh, Canna Cannabia by Cronenberry Wall. Uh, if you see it somewhere, you might want to give it a go, but I cannot recommend it very highly. That's it for today. Take care. Bye-bye.